Okay, um, this particular video is actually to help teachers help kids who are struggling with solving uh, similar right triangles with the special right triangle patterns. Uh, some of the kids just get lost in the formulas and for those kids we can easily tap into their skills on solving with similarities if we have the kids create an index card and instead of having the formulas with X we use one so that these are basically unit triangles for them. The way this works when we take a problem we have the kids match up which of the patterns. Since there's a 30 degree here, we know there's a 30 degree on this triangle. And what we're going to do is actually have them match up the sides using their similar right triangle skills. And they're going to set up the similarity. X goes to 1 and 10 goes to 2. And then it's just a simple matter of cross multiplying and solving for 5. In this particular problem, again, the kids are just going to match it up, but notice we have two variables. So you have to have the discussion. They have to set up the two numbers that match each other so that you can solve it. In this case, we would have x is to 1 as 5 over the square root of 3 is to 1 over the square root of 3 and then the threes would cancel and you get x is equal to five. When you're solving for y, you're gonna do the same thing. y goes to two as five square root of three goes to one square root of three. And then they can see that it cancels, but in this case, they still have to cross multiply. It's an easy thing if the triangles aren't oriented the same way to just turn the index card around so that it matches and then it's an easy thing for the kids to match up the proportion x goes to 1 as 6 goes to 1 square root of 3 and then they solve the proportion for their answer. And finally, I always found that the 45, 45, 90 right triangle where you gave them a hypotenuse without the square root of 2 was probably the most challenging problem I could give to the kids. But that's even taken away in this, if we do it this way, because the kids see it's x to 1 as 12 goes to the square root of 2. And they see because they can cross multiply and get x square, the square root of 2x equal to 12, and then they divide by the square root of 2.